hear a lot of people making excuses uh, as far as why they can't create or why they can't make money off of their work or I, I pretty much hear different versions of self-sabotage and it's mostly through excuses. When do you know that you need to pull the trigger? When, when I feel like when you release your music or sell your music or, or artwork or whatever that you do, I feel like you're completing that creative process. You're, you're bringing it into fruition. You're finally doing what, what you were you know, intended for you know, to do. So like, when it comes to pulling the trigger, when, when do you know? The first thing is that when you're in your bubble, whatever you do in your bubble, that's not the real world, right? So whenever you create something, at some point you're doing it for you. There reaches a point in order for you to either monetize it or to move forward, you have to begin to share that work with other people. And so I see a lot of artists get stuck in that first stage where they're still creating for themselves. You know, they do a recording, they hand it to a couple of their friends. They're just tripping off of, OK, I can do this. But then they're afraid to really put it to the masses. You know, and that's the biggest step for any artist is, is to start sharing their work. Because painting and writing a diary and, and writing music is very personal. You know, it's a one, it's a, it's a, a introspective, individual kind of an energy. Sharing it with the world means you expose and, and, and people are seeing parts that you may not want them to see. And so the first stage is being brave enough to start sharing your work. Because, see, when you're doing the work for yourself, your world is closed in. Nobody knows what you're doing. You're, you're basically hiding in the closet anyway. But that moment you put it out, you, you extend your territory. You know, you begin to enlighten other people. You get to get people's reaction. Some people don't expose their work because of another subject we talked about, criticism. They're not ready to handle it. Some people don't expose their work because they really don't know how to sell it or monetize it, which is another big thing now. I find that all these people that have this talent now, but they don't know how to monetize whatever they're doing. But they, they want to do it, but because they haven't made any money from it, there's a, something that happens to their self-esteem and they don't feel really validated yet. I think that that moment when you know it's time for you to start showing, once you get to that point, you can't hide. Because that's all it is anyway, is fear. Fear, excuses, or excuses is just what they are, it's excuses. You can come up with a thousand reasons why you can't do something, you know? And after a while, we're not talking about art. <laughs> we're talking about your personality. You know, your personality is underneath of all of the stuff we're talking about. Sometimes you're that way because you don't know who you are yet. But I think that if you use your work properly, you begin to know who you are. If you have a skill set and you know you got a skill set, use it. Get off your ass. Put yourself out there. It wasn't given to you by design. The creator didn't give you that for no reason. You didn't wake up one day and decide you want to be a painter. It was innate in you. It was a gift. What are you going to do with that? There's no excuses with that. You want to know how to say thank you? Do the work. Just do the work. Let the other stuff fall where it's supposed to fall, but do the work first. It was only intended for you to have therapy anyway. That's where this stuff comes from, writing and, and music and art is so closely related. Because when you're doing it, you ain't thinking about all that stuff. You're not thinking about the world. You're not thinking about nobody's opinion. You're not thinking about whether you can sell it. It is a therapeutic spiritual connection when you're doing this stuff. It's when you finish and you look up and go, okay, what the hell am I going to do with this that it becomes a problem? And you either a punk and scared to show it or you brave and you share it with the world.